Hey, this is Martin, and this is my color sorting box. We're basically taking a skittle, and it will sort them with this pipe thing. Excuse this odd shape of it, a bit of a failure. And right now I have the battery outside of it, because I didn't think through enough to... Oh, there's one! To make a power button, because who needs that? So it will take in five different colors. I have five different colors in this box, and it will move them to five different locations on this. First, I'll have, have to load in a black and a white one. We're just gonna load these in. These are done for calibration. And we'll after just running a short demonstration, show you the inside. So I'll now run in a green, a yellow, an orange, a red one, and finally a purple one. That's the five colors I have. And otherwise we'll just start it now. So basically I have an RGB LED inside, you might see the light show inside of it. And it will just light up the skittle, which is gonna remove these. And we can see how reflective they are for the different colors. You are getting an RGB value. And sorry I'm using this lid as the tray to fall down to. It's not very precise. So we'll basically widen the black balance, and then we'll teach you what each color looks like. But I'm just gonna, each time I'm putting a new one in, you will look at its color, and we'll try to look which of these colors it resembles the most. Let's load the purple one in. Yellow one. Well, it's pretty precise because I'm teaching you the colors beforehand. Think of the three purple ones, that's a bit boring. Uh, red, green, let's go to yellow. Basically, it's, it's pretty precise, but especially if I had a bit of better tray to output it to. But it seems to work with almost 100% perfection as long as you keep the LED and the photoresistor in total darkness always close to. It sometimes starts to be trouble, especially if you get longer into the process for some reason. I could probably optimize the scanning a bit more. Basically, it seems to work very decently. I'm going to try to load in a bunch of colors here. The little load-in system is basically just a pipe. And there's nothing special to it. You can just see that every time one drops, it can get a bit lower. Lower, until it's all the way down there. Doing it pretty precise. So you can orange one, green one, oh, it's empty. Let's try to take a look in the insides of it. Some of the sides are glued together, front and the top isn't, so I can show you what it looks like. Like this is just a pipe. I think it contains pills. My room so, right, let's try the demonstration here. It will basically load in the skeleton. Here it will be scanned. The LED will light it up. And then I have a photoresistor coming over there. It says 
This is tape, it's got tape. Nothing fancy. Was there and push it down. It's just a servo motor at the top and a servo motor next to it. It's a lot of scotch tape, very bad soldering, but basically it works. So. Very simple setup. It was the most simple one I could figure out using only one LED and one photoresistor. Finding out which color it is. Yeah, that's basically it. If anyone wants more in the photo code or anything, I can share that with you. Just let me know. Well, well.